that start raining guys I'm doing a little bit of trail running I'm gonna go over some of the things that I bring with me when I'm out on these trails this kind of survival uh, kind of kind of has a survival mentality so we'll go over that here in just a minute what's up guys doing some trail running again here at the lake I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got with me uh, kind of just some just in case stuff since the weather's not the greatest so let's see what we need to do all right so I've ran about 25 minutes into um, like towards the lake um, so I've actually never been here before uh, so that's kind of interesting um, but anyway just to show you kind of what I'm how I'm running the phone stays in my left front pocket when I'm running out in the woods I'm not wearing those real thin um, running shorts I actually wear like cargo type shorts and then you can see I got this little thing wrapped around my waist stuck my uh, just a regular water bottle just a 500 mil water bottle um, then I have just this pack. It's like a water pack, and I'll show you what all I have in there too. So just uh, uh, let me just pop everything off here. Put my water bottle here, and I just run this towards the back there, wrap it around so I've got a little extra support while running. Take this off. All right, so first thing you can see, I've got the poncho right there. So if it starts raining on me, which it could start raining any time, really it's been raining on and off all day, I've got a poncho I can set up or put on spider. Um, military surplus poncho, actually. So I'm pretty excited about that. And the next thing I've got here, um, the metal water bottle that I, I have uh, taken everywhere um, filled up with water so what I could do if I got into a pinch to where I was out here overnight I could boil the water in here let it cool put it in here and then of course a little bit of nutrition almonds walnuts and raisins in case I start to tank out or whatever um, uh, trash bag trash bag for like laying on the grass so I can chill I got some paracord with uh, some prussic knots tied on there some loops so I could do a shelter really quick I've got my more HD my wallet and all that my Leatherman's on the back um, what else do I have some way to start a fire to boil water also important to have a whistle I don't think that has a compass on it. I'll have to look. I actually, oh, it does, dude. I did not realize. I didn't realize this had cotton ball. I didn't realize that cap came off. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, well, I'm excited about that. I've had this thing forever too. I'm not putting it on right. There we go. Um, little extra cordage and some stakes. Actually, I'll probably set up a shelter just to show you. You can get one up pretty quick. And then I just carry that in this bag I got from Walmart. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop you here and I'm gonna set up a shelter real quick. And uh, yeah. All right guys, so basically what I did is made a lean-to. Um, just put two stakes in the back, one, two. Hood's open right now, it's fine. I uh, went ahead and just cut these real quick since I couldn't make a ridge line to do this. Because um, usually what I would have done is made a ridge line and used the, the pre-set prussic knots on there to, to make a shelter. But um, it's not perfect right now, but it's, it would keep you fairly dry. Uh, so basically, I'm just chilling in here. There's plenty of room. What I usually do, but I've got to hurry back. What I usually do is shut this and use the rope on here and pull that back and up is what I've been doing today anyway um, to keep keep a real good uh, headspace in here which actually works pretty good. 
Um, this thing is like seven or probably six and a half foot long or so because I've got a few inches when I lay down. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I, I mean, it's plenty of room really and truly for like an emergency type shelter. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you that I, I do when I'm out here running is I always carry a gun too. Um, uh, the gun I carry is always in my front right pocket and it's just a Taurus TCP. Um, also, I keep uh, one of these things called this little, it's basically like a, it's like an elastic fanny pack thing. I put my keys, my extra magazine, and keys magazine, something, oh, and a light source in there. Um, so that's what I keep in there. So basically, come out here, run, enjoy the view, enjoy those clouds. Let's see if you can look at that. It might rain on me. Um, so I'll probably need to head back. But anyway, I want to set up this quick shelter and kind of chill out here. I'm going to eat some nuts and stuff before I head out. Call my wife, let her know that I'm not dead. And then, um, yeah, but there it is. The mosquitoes on me. All right, guys, so basically, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, basically chilled out. Ate some nuts since raisins and whatnot. Whew. Drink some water, and now I'm heading back. Uh, again, I've never been out this far in this particular area. I loosen up my belt here, and uh, so it's a lot of fun. I've been trying to get more and more into trail running, doing some research. It's a lot more enjoyable for me to run on a trail than to run on a road even though the road's fine but it's kind of where I started but this is kind of fun too so if you haven't done it you should try it